Hey guys, what's up? This punk guy here. We're back with another art video, and this time we're doing something a bit different. I thought I would have a little fun doing a voiceover for this. And what makes this one a little bit different is two things, mainly in the art. One, there is no underpainting that I normally paint, and two, this is on canvas, and boy do I hate canvas. This totally reminded me of the reasons why. You can't really see it in the video, but there's a lot of uh, blank space in between the little texture of the canvas that it was really hard to go over and get really like a solid, solid color uh, base down. And uh, like I edited most of that out, but you could just see me going over and over the same spots trying to really fill it in. So there were two reasons why I actually decided to do this on canvas. One being that I hadn't done anything on canvas in a long time and I had some laying around and I knew it was going to be a lot easier and quicker than to prep some boards. Although I did put another layer of gesso on this just to prep it. And um, it, it made the texture kind of go away. Like if you notice when I paint the boards, it's a really, really smooth texture and I'm able to layer and blend a lot better. But this one, there wasn't going to be any layering or any blending. So I said, you know what, this is straight from the paint, uh, straight from the bottle to the, to the canvas, so why not? Also, I'm using Liquitex Basics, which is a, it's a decent uh, quality of acrylic, and I'll probably varnish this too to make the colors pop. So I do a lot of these punk rock art shows in downtown Los Angeles, and this one is the next one was The Germs. And I had a lot of fun doing this one, and usually when I make these art videos for these shows, it's always hard to come up with something a little bit unique. Um, everyone always does portraits of the band members, and I usually like to steer away from that because I'm not a realism painter. But I like to have just a lot of fun with the bands and see what I can do with their logos. So this is a mashup between the Bones Brigade, which is an old 80s uh, skate crew and team, and obviously the Germs logo. And normally I have a hard time coming up with some type of concept or mashup, but um, if you look at the Germs album, it has the skull, and it just seemed like the right fit, you know, with the circle for it to come out of the logo. I don't know, it just it just seemed like the right fit, so I, I was very excited to do this. Uh, normally I wait till last minute, or I come up with so many ideas that it's hard to pick one, and this one just seemed to pop out the most. You know, one question I get asked a lot is, how do I put the image onto the canvas? Do I draw it on there, or do I copy it from something else? Well, normally what I do is, I make a, an image of it, I'll draw it, and then copy it onto there. But for this one, I did a digital one, and it was cool because I got to make a color scheme for it. And you'll see in the end what I mean by that. But this was a, a, a copy and transfer of a, of a digital image that I drew. And it was actually a lot easier, and you'll see it come in and out of frame when I'm looking at uh, the detailing when I start in with the ink brush. So now I'm just putting in all the blacks where they need to go. It was a little bit tricky because there's like a lot of little white marks everywhere that I had to make sure didn't disappear because I wouldn't have known where to put them. So I was trying to be real careful and not go over those uh, those markings. So now here you can see the piece is really starting to pull together. You can see what I mean by try not to make those uh, empty white spaces empty. And I'm going back in with a with the white paint and filling in those lines so it's just not the blank canvas at the bottom that makes it white, but actual white acrylic paint. And here's the part of the video where I come out and be honest and say that 
I'm not super familiar with a lot of the Germs music. I know actually a handful of songs, and that's about it. They were never really in my uh, lexicon of, uh, of music, but uh, after doing this piece, you know, going back and listening to them, there's a lot of stuff that I do like about them, and like I said, the only thing I really knew was Darby Crash was kind of kind of crazy, but <laughs> yeah, he, was a, he was quite a character, and uh, I remember that from uh, The Decline of the Western Civilization, which is a great documentary, and if anyone hasn't seen it, they should see it. It's about the early 80s punk rock, uh, you know, with Black Flag and Circle Jerks and obviously the Germs and stuff. So it was a really uh, good movie, and really get to see all that madness of the early 80s punk rock scene, which uh, I wasn't old enough to be a part of, I was still just a kid. <laughs> As you can see, I'm coming to an end of this video. I have my ink brush marker out and I'm filling it all in with the little black details. Now, you're wondering why I would use this instead of, an, instead of a brush? Well, this is way easier than using a paintbrush to put in little detailed lines like this. Also, you can see I finished putting in all the white paint lines, which was a little bit harder, but I go over it and I put the little GI in there and I put in the, the white highlights everywhere and sign my name and call it a wrap. Thanks for watching guys, this is a lot of fun to do. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching that. I just wanted to show you the final piece. Here it is, 12 by 12 on canvas. Uh, the Germs Bones Brigade mashup. And this was fun and I also wanted to show you guys something else. I had something special for you. I also have a variant version of this as well in a dark blue. And this one has um, some different color like uh, art splatters, gives it a real like punk rock, rock and roll you know, like uh, art look. Anyway, I will be having these two, and I do have uh, stickers of these if you guys want to hit me up on YouTube or direct message me. You can always find me on Instagram, this punk guy. I just uh, want to say this was fun, and uh, if you guys like old school punk rock like me, then you guys will definitely like these. Uh, hit me up. Let me know what you guys thought. Uh, like, add, subscribe, and until then, I'll see you guys next time.